Hey everyone, Amanda Maisie here with Country Roads Trust, women's basketball coach Don Plitzawhite. Coach P, thank you so much for joining me. First of all, before we kind of get into this, you're having a, a pretty good season so right. far. This is your first year. Higher than you expected, lower, like just kind of how would you grade things so far? Well, what's been fun to watch, man, is how our young ladies have continued to grow and learn and progress, and, and that's been really, really fun. So how do I grade us? I don't know. I think our kids are competing, and our young ladies are developing, and that's really fun to see. You had a lot of new faces to this team, a few that returned from last year, obviously, a Madison Smith, JJ, Jayla. You know, how important was having that experience with all of the the new faces to this program? Obviously, you were right. new, but just having people in the program that kind of new West Virginia basketball and, and what it meant to the fans? Well, it's really a huge part of, of how you go about building it. And I think those young ladies are, we have seven returners from last year's team, have really been the, the ones who've laid the foundation for us. And then we have our new young ladies who have continued to help grow and build. And that's been something that has continued to evolve. And, and you know, right now we we've, our fans have been great. Our fan base has continued to grow. We have the, we sold the most season tickets in right. women's basketball history here at West Virginia. And so, and our fans have been a big part of the energy that has been created at our home games. So that's been really neat. So let's talk NIL. This is all new, right. crazy for coaches. You know, what's it been like for you? And how, how important right. is the NIL for your program, right. for your players? Because Absolutely. this is, this is where we are. It is. Well, there are a couple things I'd say to that. Number one. You know, I hear a lot of our, our fans and fans across the country, not just West Virginia fans, but fans across the country say, boy, I just I can't believe this new era that we're in. It's so different, you know, that, that we're looking at NIL deals for student athletes. And the reality is it's here. And change is hard. Change is really hard for everybody, but it's here. The great part about our program is that we have some dynamic young ladies. I know you had Madison Smith on last, uh, last episode, but we have some dynamic young ladies, and they are great. It, not only great basketball players, great students, but they're great role models and they are, are incredible in our community. And so it's fun for them to continue to grow in all ways throughout their career, not just on the basketball court, but off the court. And as a coach, you certainly are, we're excited about watching them grow, but we also want to make sure that they are recognized in the ways that they can be recognized in this day and age. And one of those ways certainly is through the NIL opportunities for our young ladies. The other great part is that what, what we've learned, I think this maybe year or a month, I'm sorry, month 10 that we have been here, is that the people in the state of West Virginia and West Virginia fans overall, whether they're in the state or outside of the state, is that they're competitive, very, really competitive <laughs> and passionate and passionate about the, the flying WV. And so this is a way for all of those passionate individuals and competitors to help us compete in a new arena. It's totally different. You know, and so we can either say, oh, boy, this is tough, or we can say, let's go, let's, get, let's jump in and let's get going on yeah. this. Because we do have great young ladies in our program, and we have great young ladies that are recruiting into the program, and this is a new way to help us compete at another level. You know, how important is it to have your players represented in the community, not just for right. WVU basketball, to show, like, what dynamic players they are, and they have great stories, and they have great possibilities that they could lend to, you know, businesses right. and things for members. I mean, you know them better than yeah. I do or anybody else, but they have a lot of great stories that need to get out there. Well, they do, and it's really fun for me because now in being here for a while and having our players interact in the community here in Morgantown and, and across the, the region is that now I'm getting text messages and emails from people. Hey, your, your two of your kids sat with my daughter at the game, or these kids came to our school and they read, or I met this young lady at, at a restaurant and she was telling me her story and it's just they're so they're, they have so much fun you should have seen JJ Quinterly when she signed autographs the last time I think there were 500 girls in that line awesome. after the game and we looked out and said look at this opportunity and JJ yeah. went wow I can't believe it and we've have you know our, our, a new program in Coach P's Mini Mountaineers and over a hundred young girls in grades three through eight these little girls are coming to games and they're wearing their shirts and they're high-fiving the players before or after the game and and so an opportunity to connect in so many different ways and not just with girls and with youth but with so many people in our community so they do have a story yeah. and it would be great to get their story out at another level we need to do that yeah for sure how important are you finding it that you know that that there's nil opportunities for incoming players because yeah. it's not just the players that right. you want to retain but now when 
when players are looking at the program, they want to say, well, what, what opportunities am I going to have? Well, and certainly we have to be a little bit careful in, in how that information is right. portrayed. And so how, how can we? We can talk about the, the situations and the deals and the opportunities that our current student athletes have. And that's a, a way for them to look at it. So that means it, it works twofold. It works for the young ladies who are there and for the young ladies that we're recruiting. But it's a, it's a, it's a reality in our day and age. It's something that, again, we need to find ways to compete at a really, really high level. And I think it's really important, too, that our female athletes get out there right. as much as our male athletes. Absolutely. I mean, I know that you would advocate that because female athletes, they, you know, they bring something different they than the male be. athletes. So that's super important that we get the females out there. Well, it really is. And I think that story certainly is, is being brought to the, the forefront more and more at the same time. You know, we, we have a, a program in our women's basketball program here at West Virginia. It's called our Elevate program. And it's a program that we run outside of basketball. And the mission statement behind Elevate is to elevate our young ladies into confident young women and by the time they graduate from West Virginia University. The way we go about doing that is kind of through a whole lot of different activities, whether that's through leadership, through mentorship, through community service, through book studies, through all different ways. But when we talk about mentorship, what's really important for us is to put females, female speakers in front of our young ladies. That's really important. And that's not male bashing. It's just important for our, la our young ladies to see see women out there who are successful, who have gone through some situations, who have learned how to embrace adversity, who have learned how, how to, you know, kind of work through situations that can be challenging. And our young ladies can do the same thing for other people, whether those are for girls that they're mentoring or for other people in this community. Absolutely. What would you say to encourage people to join Country Roads Trust? This is the time. Yeah. This is the time. You know, we're, we're right now we're building it. It is growing. And, and in order for our program to really continue to to be the program that is competing at a conference level and competing beyond that, this is a priority for us. This is something that's really, really important. So we need you. I feel like it's almost like a telethon at some <laughs> point in time. Put the number underneath on, on, the, on the little screen and let's go. <laughs> this is a great time to do it. We're really excited about it. And we do have, we have incredible young ladies. And so this is a way for us to make sure that we are letting them know how much we appreciate them in, in the ways that we're allowed to these days. Yeah, absolutely. We appreciate your passion for basketball and for Country Roads yeah. Trust. You better listen to her. She said <laughs> join. Do it. Coach P, All right, appreciate good, you. Thank you. Have a great appreciate rest of the season. It. Thank you.